Welcome to the Bryan District Rural and Transportation Improvement Program public meeting for the 2021-2024 program. My name is Maurice Manis, a transportation engineer in the Bryan District, and I'll be your MC. We are here today to go over the projects to be included in the upcoming 2021-2024 Rural Transportation Improvement Program, or TIP. Today we will go over the counties in the Bryan District and all the roads under the district's care. We will also review the basics of what is the rural tip and why is it important for you to be here with us today. We will explain how the projects included in the program are selected and classified in order to make the most of the program. Once you have an understanding of all this, you will have the opportunity to review all the projects in the Bryan District as included in the 2021 to 2024 program both the big projects and the small supporting projects. We will also go over funding, answering questions on where does the money to pay for these projects come from and how it gets distributed. Lastly, we will outline all the options you have to comment on these projects and their priority. Unfortunately, due to the circumstances of this meeting being virtual, we will not be able to respond to verbal comments or questions, however, you will have the opportunity to make comments through email and traditional mail, as well as phone in project specific questions. In addition, this presentation is being recorded and will be available for video playback. Instructions for making comments, asking questions, and accessing the presentation's video will be provided at the end of the presentation. We know everyone took time from their day to be here today and we appreciate it. This year, we are pleased to offer this meeting virtually, but I would like to take a minute to remind everyone about the importance of eliminating distractions while you are behind the wheel. Distract distracted driving continues to be a problem in Texas, and data indicates that drivers are not changing their behaviors. So TxDOT wants to raise awareness on the dangers of distracted driving by encouraging Texans to put away their cell phones while driving. The Bryan District includes all of the counties shown in the map. Projects included in the 2021 to 2024 Rural Transportation Improvement Plan, or TIP, are located in Brazos, Burleson, Grimes, Freestone, Leon, Madison, Milam, Robertson, Walker, and Washington counties. The Rural Transportation Improvement Program is a list of local projects to be funded in a TxDOT district over the next four years. This means all projects included in the list are expected to be underway within four years following its approval. These are the changes you can expect to go to contract in the near future. It is multimodal, which means that it can include projects related to highways, bicycle and pedestrian facilities, transit services, and freight projects, as well as the preliminary studies used to define those projects. Rural TIP is meant to show regional agreement on the need and priority of a transportation project, so all parties involved can be sure they are making the best investment for the community. It is also expected to be consistent with the projects and objectives included in the regional long-range transportation plans to ensure that all agencies are working towards the same goal. The Rural TIP is part of the Statewide Transportation Improvement Program, or STIP. Because the program, its rules are established by federal law, no project can receive federal funding unless it is listed in the Rural TIP. It is important for you to participate because funding secured by this process is intended to address your community's most immediate needs. By providing comments on the priority of the projects included, you are helping us identify regional priorities. By reviewing the entire program in a single meeting, you are having a regional impact, helping us be more effective with your money and ensuring that we are investing where we should. Rural transportation organizations metropolitan planning organizations, and local governments are responsible for selecting projects within their boundaries. TxDOT, through the district office, is responsible for selecting all projects relating to the state transportation system and other national roadways. This includes interstates, state and U.S. highways, 
But most importantly, this can also include the farm to market and ranch to market roads you use every day. The projects you will review today should respond to local needs. It is our responsibility to provide you with the opportunity to provide input on which projects should be advanced. Once projects have been defined, they are evaluated according to their scale and classified according to the funding they require, as well as their potential impact. Big projects are categorized as regionally significant projects and are included as standalone items, i.e. additional lanes along an existing corridor or a new corridor facility. To simplify this budgeting and planning process, smaller projects are lumped together into 11 separate subcategories referred to as grouped projects. This grouping practice facilitates the federal funding of these smaller projects. The grouping categories include PE or preliminary engineering, right-of-way acquisition, preventative maintenance, and rehabilitation railroad grade separations, safety. Landscaping, intelligent transportation system development, bicycle and pedestrian, safety rest areas, and truck way station, transit improvements and landscaping. Again, this grouping practice facilitates the federal funding of these smaller projects, as well as simplifying the budgeting and planning process. We will now move on to the specific projects within the Bryan District. This map shows all projects included in the 2021 to 2024 Rural TIP for Brazos County. Projects shown in green are anticipated letting of 2021. Projects shown in blue have an anticipated letting year of 2022. Projects in red have an anticipated letting year of 2023, while projects shown in yellow have an anticipated letting year of 2024. The table shows the details of the projects in the 2021 to 2024 Rural TIP for Brazos County. I'll now go over those for Brazos County. Business 6R or Texas Avenue, improved traffic signal at Walton Drive. Business 6R, raised median sidewalk and intersection improvements from Old Hearn to 15th Street. FM 1179 install raised median from Kent Street to South College. FM 2154 or Welburn Road, intersection improvements at the railroad crossing at Holloman Drive. FM 60, install traffic signal at Nimitz Street. FM 60, install flash and beacon at Lightsey Lane. FM 2818, widen non freeway from half a mile north of FM 60 to FM 2154 or Wellburn Road. State Highway 21, install flash and beacon at Smetana Road. State Highway 30, at Bird Pond, install flashing beacon. State Highway 30, install safety lighting at Buena Vista. State Highway 40, install traffic signal at FM 2154 or Wellburn Road. State Highway 47, install flash and beacon and turn lane at FM 1688 or Leonard Road. Business 6R or Texas Avenue install raised medians and sidewalks from State Highway 21 to FM 60. FM 158 install raised medians and sidewalks from Texas Avenue to State Highway 6. State Highway 30 install raised medians and sidewalks from Business 6 or Texas Avenue to State Highway 6. State Highway 6, replace bridge at the draw on East Frontage Road and West Frontage Road. State Highway 6, replace bridge at the draw on the northbound and southbound main lanes. State Highway 6, replace bridge at Burton Creek on southbound main lane. And State Highway 6, replace bridge at Burton Creek on the northbound main lanes. State Highway 6, replace bridge at SH30 or Harvey Road. State Highway 6, widen freeway from State Highway 21 to State Highway 40. State Highway 6, US 190, install median barrier from OSR to Rock Prairie Road. 
FM 1179, replace bridge and approaches at Wixon Creek. State Highway 30, replace bridge at the Navasota River Relief. State Highway 30, replace bridge at the Navasota River Relief number two. State Highway 6, replace bridge at FM 1179 or Briarcrest. FM 1179, rehabilitate roadway from Grasper to FM 158. FM 2347 or George Bush, construct railroad grade separation at the intersection of FM 2154 or Welburn Road and the Union Pacific Railroad. US 190, replace bridge at Woodville Road. Various district-wide seal coat across the 10 counties of the Bryan District. And the district profile markings, various locations throughout the district. This map shows all projects included in the 2021 to 2024 rural tip for Burleson County. County Road, replace existing bridge on County Road 255 at Oak Branch. FM 60, install safety lighting at County Road 132. FM 696, safety treat fixed objects from the Lee County line to State Highway 21. FM 975, rehabilitate roadway, State Highway 21 to the UPRR overpass. FM 2000, safety treat objects from FM 1362 to State Highway 21. County Road, replace bridge on County Road 232 at Birch Creek. County Road, replace bridge on County Road 211 at Cedar Creek, tributary. County Road, replace bridge, County Road 262 at Small Creek. FM 60, replace bridge at Big Creek Branch. County Road, replace bridge on Mallard Road at Berry Creek. County Road, replace bridge on County Road 244 at Sesums Creek. County Road, replace bridge on County Road 288 at Davidson Creek Tributary. FM 50, replace bridge at Yewa Creek. FM 60, widen on freeway from State Highway 36 to eight tenths of a mile west of FM 2039. FM 60, replace bridge at Big Creek. FM 111, replace bridge at Draw. FM 60, replace railroad underpass at the UPRR northwest of FM 111 in Deanville. FM 1362, rehabilitate roadway from State Highway 21 to FM 2000. FM 2039, replace bridge at Porter Creek. FM 2039, replace bridge at Jones Creek. This map shows all projects in the 2021 to 2024 rural tip for Freestone County. FM 488, bridge maintenance at Richland Chambers. County Road, replace bridge on County Road 301 at Gaskin Branch. FM 80, replace bridge at Sanders Creek. FM 80, replace bridge at South Fork Sanders Creek. FM 488, install flash and beacon at 2570. State Highway 164, install flash and beacon at County Road 784. US 84, install flash and beacon at County Road 441. County Road, replace bridge on County Road 41 at Upper Keechai Creek. FM 27, replace bridge at Grindstone Creek. FM 27, replace bridge at Caney Creek Relief. And FM 27, replace bridge at Caney Creek. FM 489, replace the bridge at Bob's Creek. FM 489, replace bridge at Lynn Creek. FM 489, replace bridge at Cedar Creek. FM 489, replace bridge at Sanders Creek Relief. IH 45, one-way frontage road conversion from US 84 
to 1.6 miles north of FM27. IH45 one-way frontage road conversion from 1.5 miles south of US84 to US84. IH45 replace bridge at County Road 660. FM80 replace bridge at Cat Creek. FM80 rehabilitate roadway from FM489 West to SH164. FM80 replace bridge at Tawakana Creek. FM8833 rehabilitate roadway from FM80 to SH75. This map shows all projects included in the 2021 to 2024 rural tip for Brimes County. State Highway 6, safety improvement at FM2. State Highway 6, install flash and beacon at FM1227. SH30, install flash and beacon at County Road 175. Business 6, replace bridge at State Highway 6 southbound. County Road, replace bridge on County Road 406 at Thomas Creek. City Street, replace bridge on Old Millican Road at Cedar Creek. State Highway 6, replace bridge at Beeson Creek. State Highway 6, replace bridge at BNSF and UPRR. State Highway 30, replace existing bridge at Gibbons Creek. County Road, replace bridge on County Road 201 at Mill Creek. County Road, replace bridge on County Road 215 at Bums Creek. County Road, replace bridge on County Road 412 at Grassy Creek. FM 244, replace bridge at Bull Creek. FM 244, replace bridge at Sollock Creek. FM 362, replace bridge at Beeson Creek. State Highway 6, replace bridge at Grassy Creek. State Highway 30, replace bridge at Navasota River. This map shows all projects concluded in the 2021 to 2024 rural tip for Leon County. IH45 overlay from State Highway 7 to the Freestone County line. State Highway 7, replace bridge at the 20 Trinity River. County Road, replace bridge on County Road 403 at Coolin Branch. State Highway 7, install flash and beacon at FM 811. IH 45, replace bridge at IH 45 West Frontage Road at Drain. I 45 overlay, Madisonville County Line to State Highway 7. SH-75, replace bridge at Bliss Creek. SH-75, replace bridge at Kechai Creek. FM-39, rehabilitate roadway from 1.37 miles north of FM-3501 to US-79. State Highway 7, widened to Super 2 Highway from State Highway 75 to the Houston County Line. This map shows all projects included in the 2021 to 2024 rural tip for Madison County. FM 39, install safety lighting at Bundick Road. FM 978, replace bridge at Mustang Creek. FM 978, replace bridge at the draw. State Highway 21, install left turn lane at FM 2346. County Road, replace bridge on County Road 167 at Iron Creek. County Road, replace bridge on County Road 226 at Small Creek. County Road, replace bridge on Boyd Road at Pools Creek. City Street, replace bridge on County Road 325 or Trinity Street at Town Branch. FM 39, US, replace bridge at US 190. FM 39, rehabilitate roadway from OSR to US 190. US 190, widen non-freeway facility from the Brazos County line to one mile west of FM 39. US 190, hot mix surface from US 190 west of North Sulch 
to 1.65 miles east of FM 39. US 190 widened on freeway facility from 1.6 miles east of FM 39 to Martin Luther King Boulevard. US 190 construct four lane divided highway from 1.1 miles west of FM 39 to 1.6 miles east of FM 39. FM 39 rehabilitate roadway US 190 to the Grimes County line. IH 45 replace bridge at Hendricks Road. IH 45 replace bridge at Waldrip Road. OSR replace bridge at Middle Branch. OSR replace bridge at Riley Creek. OSR replace bridge at Leon Creek and OSR replace bridge at Pond Branch. This map shows all projects included in the 2021 to 2024 rural tip for Milam County. FM 487, rehabilitate roadway. From half a mile north of US 79 to US 79. FM 908, replace existing bridge at Brushy Creek. FM 908, rehabilitate roadway from half a mile north of US 79 to US 79. County Road, replace bridge on County Road 215 at Big Elm Creek. County Road, replace bridge on County Road 147 at Big Elm Creek. FM 486, replace bridge at Little River. FM 845, rehabilitate roadway from US 190 to South Carn Street. US 77, install flash and beacon at FM 1712. US 79, install flash and beacon at County Road 355 loop. FM 46, replace bridge at Alligator Creek. FM 486, replace bridge at Brushy Creek. FM 908, replace bridge at Reese Creek. FM 2095, replace bridge at Pin Oak Creek. US 77, safety improvement work at FM 485. US 77, replace bridge at Walker Creek. US 77, replace bridge at Little Pond Creek. This map shows all projects included in the 2021 to 2024 rural tip for Robertson County. FM 1644, install safety lighting at FM 485. County Road, replace existing bridge on County Road 386 at Camp Creek. City Street, replace bridge on County Road 10, West Wharton Creek Street at Tidewell Creek. FM 391, replace bridge at Little Pin Oak Creek. US 190, install median barrier one mile north of OSR to OSR. US 79, replace bridge in, at Little Brazos River. US 79, upgrade culvert and drainage half a mile west of US 190 to 1.1 miles west of US 190. US 79, install flash and beacon at FM 1644. City Street, replace bridge on Rosemarie Street at Lost Creek. FM 46, replace bridge and approaches at Cedar Creek. FM 937, rehabilitate roadway from the Limestone County line to State Highway 7. FM 2096, replace bridge at Mineral Creek. State Highway 7, replace bridge at Still Creek Relief 1. US 79, replace bridge at Brazos River. FM 50, rehabilitate roadway from US 79 to the Brazos County line. This map shows all projects included in the 2021 to 2024 rural tip for Walker County. FM 2821, intersection improvements with left turn lane at Rosenwall Road. IH 45, widen freeway from 3 tenths of a mile north of State Highway 19 to 9 tenths of miles north of State Highway 30. SH 75, upgrade in existing intersection 
at Southwood Drive. State Highway 75, install left turn lane at, at FM 2793. US 190, install left turn lane at FM 405. SH 75, install flash and beacon at Southwood Drive. SH 75, install flash and beacon at Brookview Drive. County Road, replace bridge on Four Notch Road at Boswell Creek. IH 45, widen freeway from State Highway 30 to 7 tenths of a mile south of FM 1696. This map shows all projects included in the 2021 to 2024 Rural Tip for Washington County. State Highway 36, install flash and beacon at Salem Road. US 290, install flash and beacon at Malinowski Lane. US 290, install traffic signals at Chapel Hill. Business 36, pedestrian and sidewalk from FM 577 to US 190. Business 290, pedestrian sidewalks from Business 36 to Market Street. FM 109, replace bridge at Mill Creek. FM 389, replace bridge at Wood Branch. FM 389, replace bridge at Coe Branch. FM 1948, rehabilitate roadway from US 290 to State Highway 36. County Road, replace bridge on Roberts Road at Burns Creek. SH 36, replace bridge at US 290 westbound. County Road, replace bridge on Bohemian Road at Indian Creek Branch. The rural tip functions as a budget list for the district. As such, it is fiscally constrained, like the budget of a household. The rural tip has to be realistic about the amount of money available to cover all the needs. Frequently, we identify more improvements than we have money to implement. This means prioritizing according to those items that are most necessary. We've discussed the list, but where is the money coming from? Funds can come from three main sources. The federal government, through the establishment of the Moving Ahead for Progress in the 21st Century Act, or MAP 21, the federal government allocates these funds through the processes established by the Federal Highway and Transit Administrations. Two, TxDOT, like the federal government, also allocates a section of our budget for these projects through the Unified Transportation Program's 12 funding categories. And three, the local governments. Once the need has been identified and the amount of federal monies has been defined, the rural tip helps local governments assess the funding requirements to match those of the federal and state government and their capacity to meet them. Now, after you review and comment on these projects, what is next? The timeline above illustrates the rural TIP process and where we are right now. Once your comments have been collected and considered, if necessary, the Bryan District will provide TxDOT with a revised rural TIP for approval and integration into the statewide document. The statewide transportation improvement program is built from the rural tip of all of the 25 districts in the state, as well as the transportation programs from all the MPOs. The timeline above shows where in the rural tip process fits into this larger effort. Once the tip is approved by the federal government, everyone's projects are funded and become one step closer to getting constructed. Now that you are familiar with the program, we want to hear what you think. Go ahead and mail or email comments to us at the address shown on this slide. Comments must be postmarked or otherwise received by Friday, June 26, 2020. Please make sure to send your comments before that date. If after today you would like more information or have any other questions, feel free to reach out or visit the district webpage for updates. Thank you all for participating in this year's rural tip process and we look forward to hearing from you.